Good morning. Can we know when Jesus' coming is near, even at the doors? Today we're looking at Mark 13, verse 28 to 31. Here's what it says. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and it puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see these things happening, know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Yes, we can know when Jesus' return is near. It's like springtime when little new leaves appear, buds and then leaves appear on trees and, and bush, bushes, shrubbery. We know that we're coming towards summer. And when we see the actual signs that are outlined in the scriptures, when we begin to see those things coming to fulfillment, then we know that we are very near the return of Jesus. Once they've come into view, once, once they've actually happened, once they're all checked off, then we know we're very near. Now it says in our text that uh, this generation will not pass away till all these things take place. And some people have struggled with that. But I think we can look at it this way. Just as I just mentioned, when we see all these things listed, many people have thought the second coming was going to happen in their lifetime. But uh, they misinterpreted some of the signs, and so uh, they weren't really all checked off. What we have here is when you see these things, when you see the signs, when you see the signs lined up, then you know you're near. And so that's what we have here is there will be a generation that at last all these signs that have been outlined will have occurred, and Jesus will come then. When the signs all reach fulfillment, then that's the generation that will be alive when Jesus comes. I mean, let's be honest. Certainly as we follow the, the outline that we have of prophecy in the Bible, there will be a generation that is alive when Jesus comes. That's sort of indisputable. Uh, the question is, will you and I be in that generation? That's the only question. Jesus wants us to understand, when we look at this text, he wants us to understand that there is a time coming when all the signs will be fulfilled. There is a time coming when the end is imminent. It's uh, on the very point of happening. And, you know, we tend to fall into a malaise. Well, it hasn't happened. It was supposed to happen hundreds of years ago. It was supposed to happen 100 years ago. It was supposed to happen 50 years ago. It was supposed to happen 20 years ago. And many times, you know, say, well, it'll never come because it hasn't come so far. Not true. Not true. Sure, it hasn't come so far, but that doesn't mean there won't be a time when all the signs will be fulfilled, and of course, then it will come. So we must not slip into a satisfaction with this world. You know, we are, we are passing through here. We are strangers, pilgrims and strangers here. But we become very comfortable, very air-conditioned, very fluffy pillows in our homes, and we're, we're not really sometimes not even looking for the second coming of Jesus. Oh, we must let him help us so that we don't forget the beautiful things that are on the way. And what he's warning us to do here, he's telling us plainly, these things are, are going to happen. Heaven and earth will pass away. My words will not pass away. I am coming. Don't lose sight. You're a Christian. I'm Christ. I'm coming. So let's not lose sight of it. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, there are many distractions in our world, many things, and yet... Uh, all these years have gone by and the world seems like it can't get any weirder, any stranger, and yet this has been the strangest year, certainly in, on record, that I know of. And I have no doubt that 2021 will be very strange as well. Please, Lord, uh, I know it will get even stranger, even more of a moral disaster ahead for many people until Jesus comes. But we surely are near the end. Help us, help our hearts to be given over to you. Help us not to be distracted by the many things. Certainly help us not to be distracted because uh, others have misinterpreted the signs or the, the end hasn't come in their lifetime. Doesn't mean it won't happen in our lifetime. Lord, help our hearts to be ready. Indeed, you are not waiting for the world to become more wicked. I think, Lord, you are waiting for us to become more committed to you. That's the only thing standing between your second coming and uh, between us and that time. So be with us. Build your people. Help us so that we're totally available to you to do whatever you'd have us to do on your mission you have for us in this lifetime. We thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We can know when Jesus' return is very near. Question, what is keeping you from being ready for that day? Give thought to that and have a wonderful day following the Lord Jesus.